What up, G-Line? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. That is absolutely free. You won't get charged. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. Highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. You know, drop a comment, share, you know. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Man of Society MOD, where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, I was asked uh, by a few subscribers, actually, um, what's my opinion on Clown Loke's take on Tony A and the whole Chicano rap documentary, right? And normally I leave, you know, people's, you know, personal, you know, whatever they have, you know, at that, right? Um, but there was a few things that were said that, um, you know, caught my interest, right? Um, not only that, but um, from someone who actually donated, you know, because I donated to the documentary, right? I donated, I think I donated like 60 bucks, right? Like 65. I donated 60, like 65 you know, I, I could give it from my take, right? From someone who's actually donated, right? What is my take on, you know, or how do I feel about the overall situation? I'm pretty good at reading uh, characters, right? You know, studying, you know, psychology, right? I'm pretty good at reading people's characters and overall behaviors, right? Um, to get a better idea of the overall individual, right? Um, I'm a fan of Rodan Radio. I'm subscribed, you know, I tune in, you know, I... You know, watch the videos, right? I believe he puts out good content. I know a lot of people don't like Tony A because of of how, you know, how he tends to say some things. You know, sometimes people find it offensive, right? Um, you know, they, they think he's cocky or, or and stuff like that, right? It's some of the things that I hear a lot of individuals always throw out there, right? He thinks he's a shit and this and that, and, you know? So I pay attention to what people say. And I also go based off of, you know, what I'm seeing when he's interviewing, right? Because a lot... A lot would tell you by just watching somebody talk, right? They could tell you a whole lot about the individual's overall, you know, character, right? Because they could be lying to you, right? But their overall demeanor and all of that will say the complete opposite of that. And that's how you're able to tell somebody's lying or telling the truth, right? The reason why I'm still able to tune into, you know, Tony A compared to other people who scam the raza. Because a lot of people come onto YouTube and they use that, you know, as the anchor, right? They... It's all about the rasa and the rasa unity and let's get it together for the rasa and what they what they will. But in all true reality, they don't give a fuck about the rasa. They're just in it for the money and who the fuck are we kidding, right? Uh, now, how do we come to that conclusion? Simple, based off of how the overall individual carries themselves, right? And then when they get, you know, pressed, you know, how the their responses, right, will tell you everything you need to know about a character. That is how you break down people's character and how you're able to tell somebody's being truthful or lying. You know what I mean? And people can say that that's not true or nothing like that because that's what psychology goes off of, you know, uh, human behavior analysts and all of that, right? In order to, you know, come to their diagnosis or, uh, you know, overall creating uh, a profile of how an individual, you know, acts, you know, and, you know, their location now or where their whereabouts might be, you know, based off of the profile of, the, of an individual. We know that this has worked because there's evidence showing that it has worked, right? Um, so going based off of that, we're able to break down, you know, how an individual truly is. And that's why I tuned into Tony A, right? Straight off the bat, Tony A was, um, when he came onto YouTube, he was sincere, right? He only started to YouTube to promote his documentary. That's it. That's the only reason why he started his channel to promote documentary. You know what I mean? Understandable. He's being sincere. Hey, he's only coming on here to promote the documentary. As he started being onto YouTube, like most people realize, you, you know, you start getting, you know, fan base and people start liking you and and, and they want to see your content and hear what you got to say. So, you know, he, that that him promoting his his documentary, you know, turned into his podcast. Right. And he has said it himself. Right. So he was being genuine, right? He wasn't coming out here saying that, oh, you know what? No one's speaking for the Rasta. So I'm going to create a podcast and finally giving our people a voice and. He said he was promoting his documentary, right? So he was straightforward. Not like other people who claim that they're on YouTube because their message was to unite the raza and this and that. Look, if a YouTuber came onto YouTube, right, and told me, ¿Sabes qué? I'm here because I want to make money. I'm tired of living in the ghetto, so I'm here to make a YouTube channel and, and let's see what happens, homie. But I'm here for my feria. Hey, ¿sabes qué? Many people will probably see that as, like, selfish and greedy and stuff like that. Hey, pero ¿sabes qué? The vato was fucking honest, homie. And I, how can I be mad at that? I can't. If I tune into his channel, I'm tuning in because the vato already told me, hey, sabes que, I'm only here because of this. Fuck it. If I watch, homie, hey, I already know what I'm saying. I can't be, like, caught off guard, like, damn, you're telling me that you want for the raza? That's what people get mad when they start finding out that you've been lying to them. 
right? That your motives were something else. I know sometimes the truth seems scandalous and harsh, you know? Hey, but sabes que? At least they were fucking honest, bro. I can't be mad when somebody's at least being honest, bro. Even if I disagree, even if I don't, even if their decision overall to me is like, what the fuck? Hey, at least he had the fucking balls and the, you know, the, the character to actually tell it how, tell at least what he's doing. Instead of thinking that, it, instead of trying to play people stupid, instead of trying to manipulate out their con, you know, because that's something that I, I hate, bro. I hate when people think that they're above and think that they could really con people, right, and play them out of pocket. You know what I mean? And, and not and to worst of all to use your culture as as the mechanism for that you know that that's some scumbag shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm only being real. You know what I mean? Because there's several YouTubers that that do that shit. You know what I mean? And 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 claim to be you know real. That's fucking crazy. Um, so you know at least he was you know genuine, right? So when you know all of this you know was first occurring, it was good, right? You know, um, I would tap into Tony A. I would email him, um. The, the guy that was in charge before, um, he would get back to me at emails, right? Like letting me know the progress of, of the of the documentary, right? Cool. And then after a while, you know, it became a runaround. And then uh, I, you know, stopped getting a response, right? But at the same time, this was when everything had popped off with that female and the night owl and royalty and then the pandemic. And you know what I mean? Um so I could understand, you know, all the fucking shit that was being thrown, you know, you know, putting a halt onto the documentary, right? You know, Simon, right? So then everything, you know, got it getting back on track and todavía nada, right? But I see, I understand how long it takes to make any, you know, documentary or produce anything, whether it's music or whatever. It takes a lot of time. It's very stressful. And you always want to put some good quality shit out there. You don't want to rush and put some shit out there because it has your name on it. Your name is attached to this project. So if you put out some shit or some, some shit that's like, inaccurate or anything like that your name is on that motherfucker so next time you look to put out anything or do anything people are gonna remember you know your past project and they're most likely not gonna fuck with you or or none of that right so you don't ever want to put out some crappy shit out there right so i understand from from the overall business aspect of it right i understand the stress and, and that it's not as easy as people think right it's very difficult to do these kind of things right so you know I let that right, but then still, you know, he, you know, he, he was giving some reports here and there, but then he was, I, some people said he was blocking them. I don't know. He was never doing that to me, but, um, some people say that, you know, kiss him on. So I understand that Tony A's character. Yeah. He, you know, he's more of the serious type. Like he, he doesn't really handle the, the pressure all, all that well. Right. Like, you know, uh, you know, he has a temper to him, you know what I mean? Um, and, I could understand it, you know, being from the streets, you know, but understanding that when you're coming into the business world, you know, and interacting with people, right. Um, your, your, how could I say your customer service has to be better, right. Your interaction with your, your, the people who are technically going to be your, your, um, the buyers, right. The consumers, right. You have to be a little bit more, um, you have to know how to talk to individuals better, right. You have to know how to control your emotions and your temperaments and stuff like that. Right. Because yes, a lot of people out there sometimes don't understand and they're, you know, a lot of times, you know, the customers itself are people that, that are blowing out of proportion and stuff like that too. Right. So it doesn't always fall on the, on this side. Right. Um, but at the same time, if you're the face of your company, if you're the spokesman, if, if it's, you know, if this is what you're building, you have to know that you have to sometimes put up with their shit. Right. Because, um, they're actually the consumers. Right. Um, so, you know, working on that, you know, but like I said, he's from the streets and this is all new to him. All of this, all this is new to him. You know what I mean? He doesn't have that long. So I could understand, you know, where errors are going to be made or, or where he's going to be learning as he goes. Right. Um, see, because I could understand that side of things. Right. Because I'm able to look at the big picture. It's never one sided. I'm not saying that Tony is not to blame. I'm saying that, yeah, he should take some blame for, you know, the, the criticism he's receiving. At the same time, you know, the consumer also has to be patient and understand stuff, right? But I could understand why they would think that they're being conned and everything like that because a lot of people have conned. <laughs> so, you know, I could see it from both angles, right? So I believe that, you know, overall how the situation has been, you know, um, how could it handle? It hasn't been the best, right? Um, now, how do I feel like about like there's no, you know, thing or should people get their refund? I believe people should get their refund. Am I asking for my refund? No, I'm not asking for my refund. 
uh, why am I not asking for my refund? I'm not asking for my refund because it was a donation, right? When you're donating to something, right? When you're taking a chance on something, you understand that when your donation, there's some things that could potentially go wrong or, or it's at a loss, right? When you invest in something, right? You're investing money in a business or something like that. There's a chance that you could lose, right? As an investor, you understand there's a chance that this shit could go south and you could lose all your money. You're taking the gamble. You're taking the risk. You know, that it's up to you. No one forced you to, right? So I took the gamble. I took the risk and I, and I chunk it up as a loss. If I, you know, if it doesn't end up coming out or whatever, you know? I chunk it up as a loss because I knew that potentially maybe, you know, some shit could happen. It's an investment, right? It's a gamble. What happens when you gamble? There's a chance you could win. There's a chance you could lose. I chunk it up as a loss. You know what I mean? But I can understand why some people would want their money back and, you know, should he, if they want the refund, well, then yeah, if he's not going to put out nothing, Simon, you know? Um... Should he get canceled for this and, and stuff like that? Nah, because a lot of things played factors. Like I said, a lot of people were were backing down. They weren't willing to do the interviews. Like, let's say the people that started the Chicano rap, like Royal T and Night Owl, there were some of the main ones, dude, you know, and the music thing, and now they're pulling out and it's because of the whole drama or whatever the reason was. You know, so a lot of things now hindered the documentary, right? He wasn't able to put out the real Chicano documentary if the founding people, the founding original ones were not willing to participate. You know, and then now maybe him trying to maybe figure it out. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? It was a gamble regardless. Um, but overall, that's just my opinion on things, right? On um, the overall situation. Um, you know, I like clown, I feel like Clown Loke is right. You know, people do deserve some answers and stuff like that. And at the same time, I could understand from Tony A's, you know, perspective as well, right? Um, um, overall, from a person who's donated, I took it up as a loss if it doesn't come out. You know what I mean? Uh, that that's what happens when you take a risk and a gamble, you know, in investing in something, right? You don't know if it's gonna pan out. Um, but yeah, I believe if people ask for the money, then yeah, you know, uh, I believe people shouldn't be blocked, you know. But depending how they're talking to individuals too. But at the same time, you know, you have to understand from their perspective as well. You know, people just have to understand from other people's, you know, look at it from their point of view and and talk to people and handle the situation how you would like them to be handled with yourself. Um, you know, and I believe if people were to do that, this world would be probably a better place. Uh, you know, because people always talk about how people should act like adults and how we should be civil. Yet when it comes to something now going against their views, they act childish or don't want to act civil and then, you know, whatever. But yet they want to point it out on other people, how they behave. Take your own advice. I'm just saying, shadow we up.